Hello everyone, this is Magbo Gaming here and today's new video game collection series I'm gonna show you guys is my entire Xeno series collection. Not just Xenoblade, but we also got Xeno Gears at Xeno Saga and Xenoblade. All of them made from mon well, I wanna say all of them made from Monolith Soft, but the majority it is. All I can remember is that let me show you the collection real quick and I'll talk about it. <laughs> So here it goes. Here we got first Xeno Gears. Now this thing is worth a, a lot of money. I think it's worth almost 200 bucks or something. Or uh, more or less there. You should check it here to confirm it. But yeah, this was made by Squaresoft. So the developer was Squaresoft at first. And then when I'm looking around here, I don't see Monolith Soft here. It's just say Square Electronic Arts and stuff. But yeah, I do have it complete. The disc one is missing because it's probably in my PS1 that I put away pretty much. So I'm gonna have to check that out later. But I do have the digital version of this game as well, which is pretty interesting, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this is this too. Uh, I bought this for only like 40 to 50 bucks back in 2016. Now it's like triple or quadruple the price. So yeah, this is where it kind of started it all in the Xeno series. So yeah, it was made in 1998. I can't say much about it, but a lot of giant robots are definitely involved. This is part of like the sci-fi series of outer space battles and stuff. And it will continue with the Xeno Saga trilogy. So yeah. Xeno Saga 1, which when I got the PS2 console, I got this. The primary reason initially to, to get a PS2 was because I wanted to play this game because it was a turn-based RPG. I was blown away by the graphics at the time. As you can see, a screenshot here of a battle with Xion and Cosmos and stuff. And there were female protagonists, which this is something I don't see often in video games at the time. So I'm like, wow, this is very intriguing. I mean, I did love the battle system when I got it, but this is the first game I remember seeing like a bunch of cutscenes and stuff and that I wasn't playing the game and I was like, what am I gonna play? Because all I see is cutscene. I feel like I'm watching a movie and stuff like that. I wasn't really accustomed to cutscenes too much at the time. Sometimes I could get a little bit annoyed like Trails of Cold Steel 3 that they have too many cutscenes and, and I'm like, I gotta save the game before uh, maybe the lights goes out or something like that and... You get the idea. This is the first of the trilogy. Got it complete as well. I do have the second game, which I bought years later, but here it is on Xeno Saga 2. It's also complete. I took in very good care of it. It's almost brand new. And then, yes, I even got this game. Xeno Saga 3, the most expensive of the three trilogy. And has yet to be re-released in any way, shape, or form whatsoever, which is why this is the most expensive. So yeah, the funny thing is, yes, I have it complete as well. I have it complete. But the thing is, I'm gonna be transparent and honest with you about this. This has a lot of scratches. Let's see. But it still works, by the way. But it has a lot of scratches. Because I ordered this thing separately from this case and a manual thing because I bought it online. And I think it was almost $100 in total at the time. Now it's worth like $300 or so. And look at this too. In comparison to this one. It's minty, right? Pretty, pretty clean. Barely any scratches whatsoever. So, yeah, you could tell that this was ordered in two different locations. This was not ordered all, all together because otherwise both of this would probably be treated the same way. I have no idea. But it's a high likability. So, yeah. You know, so I got one. Two and three. This is the trilogy that I own for the PS2. There is a remake, Xeno Saga 1 Plus 2 on the DS, but I have yet to own that one, so I don't have that yet. Now, the next game is gonna be Xenoblade for the rest of the video. So, I'm going to put them all together because, you know, why not? And I'm gonna show you each. Okay, so this is Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii. It has like a different texture here, like Chronicles and others written the same way until later on but yeah this is the game that Operation Rainfall bought to the states because well it wasn't being localized initially like Nintendo didn't have any plans to bring this out of the west and out of Europe and stuff like that so here it is and then later on they had another remake on the 3DS right here with the, almost the same background and stuff but the Chronicles thing is now matched up with the 
Xenoblade Chronicles Wii, which I'm talking about the European version that has the same font and stuff like that, the same textures as this, so they finally adapted to this from the long term. Yep, Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. And let me just show you the same game, but remastered. Yep, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. It's the same background, the same title, except for it says it's Definitive Edition. Better graphics on the Switch and stuff like that, so let me just show all three of them side by side right now. As you can see, this has been released three times in total, remade two times, but the 3DS version is not like the very best graphics and stuff, but it's only on new Nintendo 3DS for obvious reasons, but you get the idea. Which I'm going to show you um, real quick the Shulk Amiibo right here. The reason why I show you this is because this guy is from the original Xenoblade. Yep, he's from this. And he's compatible with this game as well. Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. So, Shulk. Yep. I don't have Pyra and Mithra yet. It has not been released yet. It's taking so long to come out, but definitely going to pick them up whenever they do release so now let's go to xenoblade chronicle x this is a spin-off series but let's be honest this is one of the best ones in the series it's the only xenoblade game up to now that has not been released on the switch yet it has been stuck on the wii u and the prices is slowly going up when the wii u eShop goes down you could bet that maybe this will surpass 100 bucks or so because it's gonna be that hard to obtain it unless Nintendo decides to re-release this game. And then maybe it's gonna be like 30 or 40 bucks at the very most. But yeah, Xenoblade Chronicle X, you pilot these mechs. I think they're called scales. And then you travel through this open world and finding all sorts of creatures from around that world where, you know, your ship was landed. Because it was evacuated from the United States, you know, from Earth. And I believe that's the United States. I don't think I see it here, but here's the screenshot real quick. Yeah, they're from the United States. Um, that, sh that whole town that you could actually explore and stuff like that. But you get the idea. Here it is. Love this game. I haven't 100% beaten it, but I played it almost the, the whole thing. It's amazing, honestly. Now, the Switchy has similar backgrounds as well. Unlike like this one that has a very unique background and all, these have similar blue and giant mechons or whatever background. So let's go over this real quick. I already went through this. It's still sealed by the way. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. So we got that. Uh, the first Xenoblade game that came on the Switch, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is pretty amazing. It's a pretty amazing game. Unfortunately, I used to have Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torna, the physical edition, but now I can't find them anymore. It's very, like I used to have it, but it was stolen like almost three years ago at this point. So I never obtained another copy because of how expensive it is. So I bought the digital version of it and I'm like, well, if I never find a physical copy, at least I could play it, right? Kind of sucks because that would have been great to show in my collection, but you get the idea. I'll just show the, right here that's what it looks like so yeah um, that's another game itself but it's also a part of this expansion that came like I would say a year later or so almost a year later so yeah this is where Pyra and Mifra debuts this is where these two characters from Smash Brothers came from love this game honestly but there is one complaint I have with this game it takes freaking long to race one level. It takes more than an hour or two to race one level. And I got kind of stuck in like the spider part. I'm like, well, I just moved on for now. But I haven't beaten the game yet, but I got pretty far. I love it though. Still love the game, but you get the idea. I hate being stuck in a video game because I end up just moving on to another game if I get stuck long enough. And this is Xenoblade Chronicles 3, the latest Xenoblade game out of all. So this game itself... It's still sealed, yeah. I got this from the Nintendo store a little while back. And I really do look forward to playing this game at some point. I haven't touched it. I barely watch videos on it. I want to experience it for myself. I don't know nothing about this game besides like the direct ISO like last summer. Yeah, there are completely new characters. It's a completely new giant, I guess. It looks like some sort of sword and dinosaur. But you get the idea, like, a lot of people said this game is amazing. That this game probably surpassed Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So that has been all for my Xenoblade collection. 
I hope that you enjoy. Here's an overview of all the games all together. I hope that you find some enjoyment. I know that I'm missing Xenosaga 1 plus 2, which is the one on the DS that only came out in Europeans and only came out in Japan. If I'm not mistaken, I think it only came out in Japan and it got fan translated to English at some point, I think. If I'm not mistaken. So, if I ever want to play, I'll just play it on the emulator or something like that. And I'm also missing the physical version of Torna, which I used to have, but unfortunately it got stolen almost three years ago, unfortunately. But yeah, what do you guys think of this collection? What Xenoblade games do you have in your collection? And why do you enjoy the Xenoblade series so much or Xenosaga or Xenogears? Give me your experience on it in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Maybe we could talk a little bit more about the Xeno series as a whole. I think you're going to really enjoy it if you love open world games. There's a lot to explore in these Xenoblade games as well. Yeah, and honestly, this is what got me into Xenoblade. And this is what got me into Xenosaga. Unfortunately, I did not finish the whole game, but it's really quite a game that you could just explore for many hours. You could you know, find new location, you could be free to go wherever you want at any point, and find like level 99 monsters in the beginning of the game as well, which, you know, I don't recommend you go there, but you could go there if you want to and see for yourself. But that's all I have to say. Subscribe to this channel if you enjoy what you see. If you want to see more gaming collection videos from me. Or other travel videos involving me looking for uh, hunting down games. Filming tours of game stores I've been to. Or many other stuff like that. I hope you continue enjoying my New York City game hunts videos as well as it comes. And that's all I have to say about this. I hope you enjoy and until next video, keep smiling while gaming. I hope that you enjoy the games that you own. And yeah, keep up the hunt and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye bye. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, here are some other videos I have I believe you enjoy as well. Get fired up and gaming to your heart's content. See you there.